Hi guys, Michael Prather with Hotelcom Communications here. We want to help you understand more about your DSL service and what to do whenever it may stop working. But first, we want to make sure you understand your equipment. This is what your DSL modem should look like. It has four lights on the front and on the rear. It has a place for power, a power switch, it has a port for your phone line, and it has a port labeled Ethernet, and that's where your internet comes out of. So this is what your phone cable looks like, and this is what your ethernet cable looks like. Your phone cable has two pins, your ethernet cable has eight pins. It's important to make sure we plug in our phone cable into the ADSL port, and our ethernet cable into the ethernet port. Make sure to plug in the other side of your ethernet cable into your laptop or desktop computer, or into the back of your router. Now let's move on to your router. You may have a TP-Link AC1900, or you may have a Zyzel 2926, or you may have your own that you purchased yourself. Either way, it's gonna be similar. Now let's look at the back of the TP-Link. Here we have our power cord, our power switch, that whenever it's on, should be pushed in the in position, and a blue port labeled internet. That's where we plug in our modem, fiber to home unit, or our fixed wireless unit. And then we have LAN ports that we can plug in our hardwired devices. Now let's take a look at the Zyzel 2926. On the back, you'll notice we have a power switch that when the unit is on, the bottom portion is pushed in. We have our power cord and our power plug. Then we have our LAN ports, which is where we plug in our hardwired home devices. And then we have our WAN port. That's where we plug in our fiber to home unit, our fixed wireless unit, or our DSL modem. That provides internet to your home devices. Now let's talk about what you should do in the unfortunate incident that your internet stops working. First, we wanna to go to our modem. Let's look and make sure all four lights are on and are green. Then let's take a look at the back of your modem and make sure your cables are plugged in as they are here and your power button is in the in position, not in the out position. Now let's take a look at your router. First, Make sure your ethernet cable is plugged into the blue internet port. And if it is, take your power cord and unplug it. Wait about 30 seconds and plug it back in. Make sure your power switch is in the in position or the on position. In the event that rebooting your router did not fix your issue, let's go back to our modem. Take the power cord, unplug it, wait about a minute and plug it back in. It's really important to never hit the reset button and never hit the reset button on your router. If that doesn't fix your problem, please call us at 254-893-1000 where our help desk is standing by 24-7 to get your internet back up and running.